Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial that has been requested by a few people. And that is the custom graph tutorial. So if you know, obviously to do transitions, you need to make a graph. When you're a beginner, you usually use the graphs that they give you in Video Star, but once you get better, you should probably use the custom graphs, which look 10 times better than the graphs given to you. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you how to make a custom graph, and it's really not that hard. Okay, so your first step is clicking the plus in the top right hand corner, and you're just gonna select your video format, and I'm just gonna do a square, and you're going to select your audio for this edit. Okay, so once you have your audio, you're going to click make video right here in the bottom. And this little list is going to come up and you're going to click on import photo or video if you're making a video edit. But I'm making a picture edit, so I'm gonna click import photo. Okay, once you have your picture, you're going to use your fingers to crop the picture and once you've cropped your picture you're going to click next in the top right hand corner right here and you're going to select the length for your picture so how you set the length for your picture is by clicking set length right here to see where your picture ends and yeah once you have your picture selected of where you want it to be in the audio you're going to click import photo and now your picture is here, and you're gonna do this to however many pictures you want in your audio. Okay, so I actually ended up making a different project file thing, and I just extended the audio basically, so it's more of a clear tutorial. So yeah, now I have my two pictures that I'm using for this edit imported. So I'm first gonna be doing an example on the first picture for a graph that is for the end of a clip and then I'm going to be doing an example of a graph that's for the beginning of a clip which would be for the second picture. I don't know if that makes sense but anyways I'm just going to be starting to show what I mean. So you're going to drag your circle to your first picture and click new, multi-layer and you're going to click on the square labeled one and your picture. Okay, so once you're here, you are going to go to edit keyframes, which is the first one. And you're going to, basically, you're going to make your transition. Whether you're doing a spin transition or a zoom transition, you are going to do it as you normally do. I'm going to be doing a zoom in transition. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll have my video linked below how to do that so anyways if you don't know how to do that i'm just going to be dragging my white circle all the way to the end and using this line right here and bringing this circle to the right and i'm going to do it until that number says 145 so you can adjust this to your liking it depends on how long the clip is. You are going to drag your white dot to about the middle, and it does depend on, it kind of depends on how long your clip is, and mine is a, just a little bit over one second. So I'm going to bring my white circle to about the middle, and I'm gonna move this white circle right here to until that number says 100. So once I have that, then I'm going to drag this white circle to the very last line. And this is kind of where we start our path, our custom path. So you're gonna click on this box right here. You're gonna click on that box. And you are going to see this whole list pop up. So these are the custom paths that are by Video Star already in the app. And obviously they're not as good as what a custom path would be, but when you're a beginner, you should start with those. Okay, so you're going to click on custom path, 
I'm gonna click on custom. Probably this looks confusing, but it's really, it's so much easier than it looks. So you're gonna use your finger to drag right here. You're gonna drag the white circle to about there, I would say. And once it's right there and you see that red dot there, you're going to click the plus right here. And you're gonna use your finger to drag this red dot down to whatever you like it to be. I'm just gonna do it to about there. And then next you're gonna move your white dot on the line. You're gonna move it just a little bit closer and click the plus again and you can change your path and you can move it. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna do it again and click the plus and again like this and keep moving it to the side. Okay, so you wanna make sure your custom graph looks something like this. And I'll flip my phone this way so you can see what it looks like, like this, which usually you would, well, at least I edit like this most of the time. So anyways, this is what it looks like. So once you have your graph final and what you want it to be like, you're just gonna click the bottom, the arrow facing down right here, and you're gonna click back, and you're going to click on mirror, and you can pick whichever one you want. And you're gonna click on color, and you're going to select tracking blur, which I have it star tracking blur. If you don't have it starred, it's down right here. So anyways, um, I'm just gonna adjust my tracking blur to what I like it to be. Okay, so I have my transition here, and now I'm just gonna drag my white circle and do basically the opposite of what I did to the first clip. So new, multi-layer, the one, the picture, edit keyframes, and I'm just gonna do mostly the opposite of what I did. So I'm going to drag my white circle to the end. I'm going to put a checkpoint by clicking this arrow right here. And that's just gonna create a line. And now I'm going to bring my white circle to the first line and I'm going to zoom out by dragging this right here to the left. So I'm gonna do it at about 70. And now I'm just gonna create another graph by dragging my white circle to the very last line and then clicking this box right here and clicking custom. So now you can create your path for the front of the transition basically. So I'm just gonna drag my white circle and click the plus right here and move it up instead of bringing it to this side and moving it down. I'm gonna bring it to this side and move it up. And I'm just gonna keep moving it to the side Okay, so this is what mine looks like. Okay, so once you have your graph finished, you're gonna click back again. And you're going to click the mirror and click any one of these, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna click this one. You're gonna click on color and you're going to go to tracking blur again and adjust it to whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna keep it a little bit lower. Okay, so once you have that finished, you're gonna click create and done. So basically, this is what it looks like with the custom graphs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, 
and leave me some suggestions down below for any videos in the future like usual and thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe for more tutorials to get better at video star and i love you all bye